Hi, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jillian. Thank you. clicking on today's video in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i achieve clear and glowy skin while dealing with unwanted facial hair if you are one who also suffers with facial hair and you're trying to figure out how to keep it at bay and you're also trying to see how to get that clear and radiant skin that you've always dreamed of then girl this is the video for you pull up a seat and let's get into it okay ladies let's go ahead and get started so the first step that you want to do to achieve this smooth and glowy skin is basically start off by doing your dermablading. Dermablading is just you removing all of the unwanted hair with a razor or an eyebrow archer. Me personally, I find it easiest to use an eyebrow archer. Of course, you wanna make sure that you use a clean one, one that is unused. You can pretty much get this just about anywhere. And also when it comes time for you to use it, like by shaving the facial hair off of your face, you wanna make sure that you use some type of cream, Vaseline or aloe vera gel. Me personally, I find it, it works best when I use the aloe vera gel. This is a Target brand. It was under $5, okay? Um, this will allow you to cut your hair easily. So let's go ahead and get started. My hands are clean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the aloe vera gel. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is applying the aloe vera gel all over my face. You don't want to rub it in like a lotion. You want it to just kind of set on the face. Again, we're just using the aloe vera to help the process of us microblading all of the facial hair. And what I like to do is peel my skin back and go in a downward motion. Ladies, please be careful when doing this step. You do not want to nick your skin, girl. And as you can see, there was a huge difference between the smoothness of the cut <laughs> and all of that manly facial hair, honey. I was legit out here looking like Rick Ross. hair be gone nice and smooth just really taking my time going around the lip area going up on my cheeks and I'm getting ready to apply more of the aloe vera gel to my face as you could see by me shaving the face a lot of the product was going away nice and smooth i'll be using my spin brush from vanity planet i'll be using the silicone brush first i'm going to go ahead and rinse all of that aloe vera gel off my face and then i'm going to apply my urban skin rx this is what i will use as an exfoliant however it is just a face wash with the spin brush it will be working as an exfoliant and i'm working all the product in with the vanity planet spin brush and ladies, this was kind of like a face massager. It felt so great. Nice and smooth. And it already has that glow. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my face mask along with my steamer. Ladies, please invest in a good steamer. I only steam my face for 
a total of 10 minutes. I was definitely feeling like I was at a spa, honey. I was really feeling myself and all that hydration is being added back into my face girl okay now I'm gonna dry it off with a clean white towel and now I'm gonna apply the mask and the scent of this, it had like a faint orange and lemon scent. And when you're dealing with certain masks, you want to make sure that you're picking one that's going to promote the things in which you're wanting to improve on your face. So for me particularly, I was more interested in brightening and glowing my skin. And with the glycolic acid, it helps brighten your skin so by brightening your skin that's what's going to ultimately give you that glow and this product here also had a very cooling sensation it wasn't invasive at all it felt really good actually and with this face mask spatula, I ended up getting it off of Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. Set my timer for 10 minutes. And I actually forgot to do my brows when I was doing the microblading. So here you will see me go ahead and touch my eyebrows up. Finished product of the brows. Now I'm gonna do a lip mask. Looking like I had gotten my lip injected. Yeah, it's 10 minutes. Take that off. Now I'm going to rinse all of that face mask off. Towel blot again. Now I'm going to do my eye mask. And with this one, it had calls for 10 minutes, but I only let it sit for about three minutes. And with this, I did not have to wash my face afterwards. Going with my favorite moisturizer, as you guys know, is the pods. And rub that all in. And ladies, do not forget your neck ever, ever, ever. And this face oil here, is what's really gonna bring that glow, honey. Shine me up. Yes. Lip mask, lineage is the goat, okay? Okay, ladies, as you see, it's all done and my face is looking very smooth, no more facial hair, and also looking very glowy and vibrant, okay? I'll be sure to link all of the products that I use in today's video down below. They are very affordable. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and becoming a part of the family. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave me a big thumbs up. As always, I love you guys so much and thank you for your support. Until next time, I love you and bye for now. Yeah.